with the news that Ronnie Biggs, one of the great train robbers, has died. Friends have expressed their sadness at the death of one of the most notorious and celebrated criminals of the 20th century. For the family of Jack Mills, the train driver who was brutally attacked during the robbery, said Biggs is not a hero, he's just an out-and-out -out villain. Sky, Neil Paston reports. The great train robbery captured the public's imagination and made the gang household names, but none more famous than Ronnie Biggs. In reality, he played a minor role in the crime, but his escape from prison and life on the run made him iconic. It's pleasurable to, to feel that, you're, uh, that you've made it, you know, you struggle all through life to be somebody, and finally, even if it was only a cockeyed fame, I did sort of get something. You know? All telegraph wires in the area were cut to hamper any hue and cry. The gang escaped with cash worth £2.6 million, pounds, equivalent to £46 million today, but left the train driver Jack Mills battered and bruised, his injuries so severe that his career was ended. Those who could fled the country. The gang's leader was on the run in Mexico when Biggs mounted his dramatic escape from prison. Well, I said to Buster, you won't believe this, but Ronnie Biggs has escaped. Quite spectacular as well. So, I felt very happy for him. And in my own way, I felt that our team had won a victory. His continued evasion of justice was a source of huge embarrassment for British authorities. Detective Chief Superintendent Jack Slipper was to spend more than two decades trying and failing to extradite Biggs back to the UK. I don't think it's important to bring him back now. It was when I went in 74, it was still active. He was still a fairly young man. He still could go out in the streets, no doubt, and be a member of a team. But he's been out now 28 years. And he's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's rehabilitated himself. He was a doting father to his Brazilian-born son, Michael, but Biggs' health was failing, and with the proceeds of the robbery long gone, he couldn't afford treatment. 31 years after he'd arrived in Rio, Ronnie Biggs flew home to surrender to police. I'm John Carl's Detective Chief Superintendent of New Scotland Yard. Hey, hey, hey. Police and agents. Despite continued efforts to secure his freedom, Biggs remained in prison for years until the decision was taken to release him on compassionate grounds. Unable to walk, unable to speak and on constant medication, he still released his autobiography two years later in what was supposed to be his last public appearance. Yet in March this year, he was on unrepentant form as he attended the funeral of Bruce Reynolds. I think the reason why they've become folkloric characters um, really is, is a because of their particular charisma, B the way the media blew them up. Um, it was uh, it was like a criminal soap opera that's been running through the media for sort of 50 years. Those who spoke to Ronnie Biggs over the years discovered that the great train robber was never apologetic about his life. A line from Shakespeare's Measure for Measure was his favourite quote. They say best men are moulded out of faults and for the most become much more the better for being little bad. I think that suits me to a T. Neil Patterson, Sky News. Let's get the weather now.